It's video time, baby! What's going on, you guys? It's JDO, and I'm back with another video. And today, we are talking about Zane's best skill tree, his best build for level 53 in Borderlands 3. I'm going to be going through all of the things you need to know about this build. This is an incredible build. It is going to make Zane almost invincible. Basically invincible, if you're playing smart, it's amazing. It's one of the best, it, it honestly is one of the best skill trees in the game. Hands down, it's amazing. It's one of my favorite builds ever. Now, before we hop into this video, I post three times a week, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. I love doing videos. I'm very consistent with my videos, so be sure to subscribe to me. I main Borderlands, but I can play any game that you guys would like me to play. So just be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Now, let's hop right into the video itself. First off, we're going to be going over the skill tree and uh, what perks you're going to be wanting to spec into, things like that. So we're going to start with the doubled agent skill tree. This one you are not going to be doing a whole lot with. I have two extra points into this because of my class mod, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to max this one out. It's called Donnybrook. It's a kill skill whenever Zane kills an enemy, he and his digi clone receive increased gun damage and gain rehealth generation for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. Now this is pretty awesome. It gives you a great gun damage increase, it gives you a great health generation increase, and it is a kill skill. So every time you kill an enemy, this happens again and again and it's just something really good to have so spec five points into that and then the next one in this tree is the synchronized uh, synch synchron city whenever one or more of zane's action skills are active he gains increased gun damage for each active action skill now with this build we're going to be having two active action skills for most of the time so that's going to be pretty dang good it's 20 percent per active action skill which means it's going to be 40 percent more gun damage when you have both of those action skills popped which is really nice now that's it for this skill tree. There are a couple of good ones that you could spec into in this skill tree, but with this build and the way that I'm doing it, uh, we only spec into these two. So let's go to the other uh, skill tree. This is the Hitman skill tree. We're going to spec 5 points into Violent Speed. Uh, after killing an enemy, Zane gains increased movement. So this one's really good you're just gonna be running really quick every single time you kill an enemy and it's really it's really nice too and it's for 15 seconds so it's really nice i like it a lot uh so let's go to the next one violent momentum zane's gun damage is increased while moving the quicker he moves the greater the gun damage bonus this is incredible because when you're moving quickly and you're gaining gun damage just for moving that's amazing and by doing the slaughter shaft where you're going to be moving around a lot and any of the circle of slaughters for that matter it's going to be doing a lot of damage just by running around which is pretty awesome so next one salvation kill skill after killing an enemy zane's weapons gain life steal for a few seconds so your weapon can gain life it can give you some life this is just specking into it so that you can gain some more life i didn't spec all the way into this one just because i was just trying to get down the tree a little bit more um but it is a good skill it is something i do like and appreciate but i don't notice it a whole ton again i was just throwing points into it so we could get farther down this skill tree and get down to the ones we'll talk about a little bit later. Now, this one right here, Drone Delivery. Sentinel will occasionally drop a free grenade based on Zane's current grenade mod while attacking enemies. This one I've noticed a lot. This one is actually really good. It will drop a grenade and it hurts them. If you have a good grenade mod equipped, it's going to be really nice. And it also is really worth it because you're going to be having two action skills equipped, which means you're not going to have any grenades. So to still be able to use these grenades with your Sentinel drone is really awesome. So spec one point into that. Next one, only spec four into this one as well. Cool Hand. Zane gains increased reload speed. Every time you kill an enemy, you reload quicker. You don't really need all five into this one. You could if you wanted to. Uh, you can kind of fiddle around with this one just a little bit. I put four into it instead of five just because I don't need that much more reload speed. There aren't really guns in the game where the reload speed is such a burden to the fact where I would need to waste another skill point on this. And compared to the other skills that are coming up, it just wasn't worth it in my opinion. So just put four into that one. And the next one, we're going to have Death Follows Close. All of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect and duration. This one is amazing. This one works really, really well. All of the effect is boosted all the effects we've been talking about so far for every single kill skill is boosted and it is lasting longer that is there's literally no reason you should not be specking into this this is amazing all of your kill skills last longer and they are more effective there's no reason you shouldn't be specking into that this is it's just insane it's going to help you live longer it's going to help you do more damage everything we talked about so far is just better with now let's go to the next one kill skill after killing an enemy zane gains increased fire rate for a few seconds this effect stacks 
twice. So, again, this one is really, really good. You're going to be gaining increased fire rate every single time you kill someone. No one wants less fire rate. Fire rate is the best, so spec into that one. Next one, we're only putting four into this one. Playing dirty, kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane's next five shots all have a chance to fire an additional projectile. Your extra shot chance is 40%. And then the next one after that, if you want to spec in five, is 50%. This one is really good. You could be doing even more damage than before. You could just be doing extra damage every single time you fire a shot, almost 50% of the time, which is pretty crazy. Now, this is the one right here where you're going to be wanting to get down to. This is why we spec points into this uh, Hitman skill tree so we could get to this skill right here. Killing an enemy increases Zane's action skill duration. This skill has diminishing returns. So, it increases your action skill duration. Every time you're killing an enemy, your action skill is going to regain health. It's going to regain duration every single time you kill an enemy, which is incredible. You have the potential to keep your action skills up all the time if you're killing enemies, which is crucial. It's amazing. I'll show you guys gameplay after we go through these skill trees. You're going to see all these skills in action. Now, here we have some augments. We have some action skill augments. What you want to want to do is you're going to want to have Winter's Drone, where uh, Sentinel's primary weapon sets to cryo damage, which is pretty awesome. So you're doing extra cryo damage, and it's pretty nice. The next one you're going to want to do is Bad Dose. Sentinel occasionally shoots out a beam of radiation that weakens enemies and buffs Zane. So you're doing damage while getting buffed at the same time. It's amazing. Probably the two best action skill augments for the Sentinel Drone. Now, let's move into the last skill tree. So, ready for action, spec 5 points into this one. Zane gains improved sh shield recharge rate and shield recharge delay. Pretty self-explanatory. Your shields are going to be coming up quicker, and you're going to be getting them faster. Next one, only put 2 into this one. Again, we're just trying to get down the skill tree a little bit. Uh, Zane gains increased action skill cool down rate, so your action skills are going to cool down quicker. Now, you might be wondering why you don't want to spec 5 into this one. Well, your action skills are already going to be cooling down pretty quick, and you're going to be having them up for a really long time because of that skill we talked about earlier where every single time you kill an enemy your action skill stays up so that's why we didn't put five into that one next one brain freeze you're gonna max this one out whenever zane scores a critical hit on an enemy there's a chance they will be slowed down and this effect stacks until the target is frozen this is incredible the cryo damage on this zane is absolutely crucial there are so many times where you're gonna be hitting critical points and even if it's not a cryo gun you're gonna freeze them and freezing them just means you can lay into them which is incredible there's really no reason not to get this one and then the very last one in this tree is while zane's shields are active he gains increased Increased gun damage and accuracy. Now this one is just a no-brainer. This one is really good. Every single time your shield is active, you just get gain and increased gun damage and accuracy. It's really self-explanatory. Now the augments are the reason we spec so far down into this tree. This tree isn't very uh, special, by no means necessary, but these augments are. So the first augment I'll talk about is the all-rounder. Zane's barrier becomes a dome covering all sides. If you don't have this augment, it's just in front of you. It only guards in front of you. The shield is only guarding in front of you, which really sucks. So becoming a dome where it covers all sides of you is very crucial, and you're going to want that action skill augment. Now, the next one also is Nainties or some shite. Zane and his allies gain health regeneration, increased reload speed, and greatly improved shield recharge delay while near his barrier. Now, what you're going to want to be doing while running this Zane build is you're going to want to be picking up your shield. So, you're going to be touching at all times. So, at all times, you're going to have health regeneration, reload speed, and shield recharge delay increased while you're inside of this shield. It's going to be amazing. You're just going to pick it up all the time. So, now that we've gone through this skill tree and what is required for that, we're going to go through some of the equipment. Now, the guns are disposable. That's what I like about this build. You can kind of use whatever you want. SMGs are pretty much the best bet for Zane. I like using the Nighthawken. I like using the Cutsman. And then I also love running the Brainstormer. Now, instead of two Cutsmen, sometimes what I will do is I'll run an Assault Rifle. Just a, a good Assault Rifle. Sometimes I'll use the Curse Bloater. Sometimes I'll use uh, pretty much just anything else. And then I also really like to run the Maggie instead of one of the Cutsmen. So, any of those weapons are going to be really good for Zane. I'm going to be running two Cutsmen, though. I like doing that. The Cutsmen are really good. And then what you're going to want to do, any shield, honestly, any shield that you are comfortable with, that you like the capacity and you like the recharge rate, is going to be great. Some shields are obviously going to work better than others, but the shield does not really cater towards this build very much. But what does is the class mod. The CN Dead class mod is 100% required 
for this Zane build. It's going to give you extra points into all three of these skills, and these skills are what you want extra points into. There are different variants of the Sea and Dead, and all the skills that you can get spec more points into for the Sea and Dead class mod are skills that you want. They're all very crucial skills, and it also gives you more SMG damage, and there's different variants of this class mod. It pretty much gives you more damage towards a ton of things that you want for this build anyways. You're going to be running SMGs the most in this, so the SMG damage is what you want the most. But anyways, the Sea and Dead class mod is just 100% required. Now, I have a bunch of different artifacts. I'm running just a flat damage boost of 90%, uh, more weapon percent accuracy, more shield recharge delay accuracy, and action skill to cooldown rate. This is just an artifact the artifacts are very disposable. You could run whatever artifact you want. I have a bunch of different ones that I cycle through. I have one that gives me more cryo damage, which added with Zane's already immense cryo damage is just incredible. So there's a bunch of different things you could run. And then as far as the grenade mod, I have the Quasar. I love doing shock damage, taking out a bunch of shields of enemies. Now this grenade mod, this can be very important. Since your sentinel drone is going to be dropping a grenade when it is flying, this grenade mod is very important. This is something that I've lacked a lot. I've really not paid much attention to my grenade mod. I kind of forgot about it, and as you can see, it's 10 whole levels before, behind what I am. This could be something that is very powerful when your sentinel drone does actually decide to drop a grenade. This is something that can be incredibly powerful for you. So I do highly recommend actually caring about the grenade mod and not forgetting about it like I did. But I'm going to do the slaughter shots. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay with this Zane build. It's really incredible. It's a great, it's just a great build. If you're really smart with it, you can stay alive all the time. You are pretty much you pretty much can't die everything combined all the health regeneration all the skill skills everything just combined into one once you hit level 53 is just so hard to kill you it's really it's really it's a hassle for you to die so see what i'm doing i'm picking up my shield so that it is around me and it is covering all sides of me and i popped my um drone i popped it a little bit early now that i'm realizing uh, i want to be killing enemies every time i pop this so that i can regain um my duration as you can there is something you do need to keep in mind, especially when you're doing the slaughter shaft with this build. What you want to keep in mind is that explosive damage does not get absorbed by your shield unless this unless the explosion hits your shield directly. But let's say the explosion hits the ground around your shield. If the explosion is hitting around me, it's not going to block it. If it hits around my shield, I'm still going to take that damage. So that's why these guys right here, they're honestly best to fight up close because once they shoot your shield with those rockets, the rocket is just absorbed in the shield, but if they shoot the ground around it, the splash damage from that rocket is going to hurt you and kill you. That is one of the only ways you can die in this in this build because of explosion splash damage. That's really the only way that you can. Now, as you can see, my skills have been up for quite a while. Uh, I have been doing a lot of damage to these enemies, and every time I kill an enemy, my skills just stay up for longer, and as long as I'm killing enemies, I can pretty much just keep my skills up. Now, of course, this wave, the first wave, is always the shortest one, so I didn't keep them up for super long that time. But my cooldown rate really isn't too bad. As long as I'm just playing it smart, I shouldn't be dying too easily. So I will just keep on shooting and killing enemies. Every time I kill an enemy, that also specs into my action skill cooldown. So I can actually get some increased time for my action skill, skill cooldown just by killing some enemies, which is really nice as well. So there's really no complaints here. Now my shield is already back up. Kind of forgot about that one. So as you can see, every time the rockets directly hit my uh, shield, it doesn't do any damage. But if the rockets hit the ground near me, it's going to do a ton of damage because of the splash damage for rockets. So just keep that in mind. Always keep that in mind because you are running the shield and thinking that you're going to be completely invincible to rockets. Just make sure that you aren't getting some splash damage uh, hit near you. So the Cutsman, honestly, as you can see there, it's doing immense damage. It's doing incredible amounts of damage. It's just, the Cutsman is one of the best SMGs. I don't care what character you're running. The Cutsman is just incredible. The speed uh, of the bullets, the bullet velocity, the fact that they spread out and do tons of damage is just, it's just a requirement, in my opinion, to have for any build. You definitely want the Cutsman. This thing is just, it's just a beast, man. It just destroys everything in its path. If you use it correctly at mid-range, it's just incredible. I, I love the Cutsman. 
It's it's so freaking good. Look at it, just destroy everything in its path. If you guys want a video on how to get the cutsman, that is up on my channel. It was actually the very last video that I did post. So be sure to go check that one out if you want to see how to get the cutsman. I go into detail on where to get it, how to get it, things like that. It's really good. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for this uh, build. This build is amazing. The action skills last very long. They can last even longer as long as you are killing enemies. It's just an incredible, incredible build. It really is good. If you're smart, you will not be dying which is just a bonus as always and it's just it's just such a good build you can do the slaughter shaft alone you can even do the maliwan takedown alone if you're being smart it's really it's just the perfect zane build especially if you're trying to go solo so that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe and share be looking forward to tons more videos i'm jdo i post three times a week and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out <laughs>